Hey, fella. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Commodos. Just take me to your boss. Who are you? And what the drop do you want? And let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. Let's just say I'm a private detective and leave it at that. <laughs> Cocky, ain't you? So be it, kid. I have a pretty good idea who you might be. You were working for Throgmorton, right? So, what do you want? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. A lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, it won't be cheap. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing, but it needs to stay between the two of us. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter, rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. And? What did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manner. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? It must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, uh, of course you don't know. 
You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. I got it. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business. But he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. Goodbye. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. How are you doing, handsome? Just calm down. No need for violence. You like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont now.
Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Much. Judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh, it stinks.
Ah, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? This poker has got to be covered in slime. What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some group who had to deal with the crematorium worker. So, Brutus woke up. Knocked the guy out cold and escaped.
You're James Warren, right? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? A week ago, a group of people brought an unconscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. What well, makes you think I'd know that? You were supposed to cremate a man listed as Jack White. He escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me. Who paid you to burn a man alive? How do you know about White? I talked to him. I need names, Warren. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. I'm toast. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. No, please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but they ain't from St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? That's all I know, I swear. Where can I find this church? I don't know. Some things in this Borg are best left alone. It's not much, but thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. Bye.